Welcome back. Our next guests are the stars of the V monologues and also their latest production today that we are talking about, The Girlfriend Chronicles. I want to welcome you both to the show. Thank you so much for joining us for the second time Thank here. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for having me back. Absolutely. Now, the last time you were here, we were talking about the V monologues, which had a one show run uh, just a few weeks ago. I got a chance to see it. I loved that Thank show. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, the show that you came was the fifth run and so it was the one day only event of that particular show, yes. And it was a success. It was funny, it was sexy, it was cool. I just absolutely loved it. Good. But we are moving on to The Girlfriend Chronicles and that's yes. what's coming next, yes. your next show. Yes. So tell me a little about The Girlfriend Chronicles. The Girlfriend Chronicles is a stage production that I have written and produced and directed and I'm in. You're a busy lady. <laughs> many, but, many hats. But mo <laughs> most importantly, wrote it, and it's a story of four good girlfriends mm -hmm. and their life's experiences, their triumphs and their tribulations together, and how their different lives um, intertwine with one another. Okay, and what kinds of, what are we talking about specifically with this show? When we, when I saw the V monologues, there were a lot of issues, a lot of, I, what was it, 12 different monologues mm -hmm. that just addressed every single possible experience you could have as a woman. Right. So this will focus on uh, girlfriends facing what kinds of issues in their lives? Well, this one has um, heartbreak, deception, um, lies, truths. Yeah, all the good stuff, but it, it's, it's, it's topsy-turvy, it's twists and turns throughout this one. It's something that you would never expect. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the clips from uh, the Girlfriend Chronicles. Uh, take a look at a preview of what's to come. How do you go? Looks good. Yeah. Looks interesting. It looks is, dramatic. It's very dramatic. <laughs> it, but it's really good, though. Okay. You, so you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll reflect. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. we actually have one of the stars of the Girlfriend Chronicles and also the V monologues here. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to me. Your character is Shelby. Yes. Tell me about Shelby. Shelby is a lawyer. She's a career woman. She is very accomplished and. I think Shelby kind of uses her accomplishments as a type of a shield mm. to protect herself from being vulnerable with people. So even though she's really able to kind of let her hair down somewhat with her girlfriends, there's, there's some things that she keeps to herself and she's struggling with that. Okay, holding some secrets back. Is that something we would find? A little something, something. A little something, okay. <laughs> How did it feel doing this show as opposed to the V monologues where you're sort of just speaking to the audience, this time you're actually really in a role and, and working on stage with other, other actresses? Well, both experiences have been really awesome, um, and they've both given me an opportunity to build type of, a type of sisterhood with the other actors in the cast. Um, but V monologues is pretty much, okay, I take the baton, it's my turn, I pass the baton to the next monologuer. And, uh, and that was great, but this is so much more fun. Yeah. It's more fun. <laughs> um, basically because I get to interact with the other actresses on a regular basis. Like, you know, every scene we're interacting, there's, it's either, you know, we break out in laughter or it's a dramatic moment or like it's, it's much more of a roller coaster for me. Right. Um, with V monologues, it was a roller coaster for the audience, but I only got to be a part of the ride. A small slice of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right. But in, in this Girlfriend Chronicles, I get an opportunity to, to be on the ride from start to finish. Mm -hmm. And Tracy, does it, do you like working with some of the same actresses uh, over and over again? You sort of get a, a, a sense of chemistry of, of, of what each actress is going to bring. Exactly. You, and then you also understand one's capability and their strengths and what can they bring to each particular project. But I also love casting new talent too. Mm -hmm. So I'm always searching for fresh faces and talent here in the Bay Area. 
And what's it been like working in the Bay Area? I mean, are, are some of these stories uh, that, that are going to be sort of Bay Area specific or are they universal stories? They're universal stories, but ge geography wise, it's Bay Area specific. So you'll hear things mentioned that are locations that say, oh yeah, I've been there. Oh yeah, I know where that is. Mm -hmm. I really want everything to be home for our audience goers. What does it take to be able to put on a production like this? And like you said, wear so many hats. I mean, you're in it, you're, you know, directing it and producing it and just having a hand in just about everything to do with it. Energy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, takes, it takes energy. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's fun. And just like Bird just stated along the way, with the monologues, it was, you know, a, a much bigger cast. And... Um, but with the monologues, they're such a, a great group of women. It's so yeah. different, and each and every one of us brings something different to the table that we all appreciate. With, with the Chronicles cast, it's very intimate, so we're able to show a little bit more personal things about one another and how the experiences that were are, that that are being portrayed on stage are relatable Absolutely. to their personal lives. And there is the drama, and the, and there there are the tears. I'm sure. Is there also laughter? Are we gonna Absolutely. laugh? Absolutely. Is Shelby gonna make yes. us laugh? <laughs> yeah. yeah crack up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shelby's gonna, and there's music too. Music. I, you know, in reference to our culture, music plays a huge part in who we are as African American people. So I make sure to always incorporate music. Absolutely. Yeah, which is, um, we are so fortunate to have Miss Nona Brown who has written all original music for us, so I'm very happy for that. Well, I can't wait to see it. Yay. I am so excited to see it. I can't wait to what see are the you. dates? Give us the dates. The date is June 8th. What is the 28th. date? Thank you, June 28th. <laughs> June 28th. <laughs> at the Kaiser Center Theater next Saturday at 7 p.m. Okay, and for more information about tickets for Girlfriend Chronicles, again, June 28th at the Kaiser Center, you can log on to brownpapertickets.com. That's brownpapertickets.com. That's it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us, and please like us on Facebook 